Hey YouTube and welcome back to another Maya tutorial. Today I want to show you guys how you can set up your first animation in Maya. If you never did that before, this is uh, pretty neat because uh, there's a lot of functions out there and if you kind of figure out how it works, it's uh, you can do a lot of nice stuff with it. So, we're going to get started. So, I'm going to start off with the ground plane. And in my polygons menu, just select plane and drag that out on your grid. And I'm going to hit 5 for shaded mode. All right. Okay, next, we need to create some dominoes. So I'm going to, in the polygons menu, select uh, a cube. And I'm going to drag that out and drag that up. Maybe scale it down a little bit. Hit R to scale it down. Uh, like so. Pull it up a little bit. And I need to position it nicely on my grid, so I'm going to go to my uh, front view, hit W, pull it down a bit, and move it over to roughly the middle. And in this view, I'm going to do the same. Okay, like so. Back to my perspective view. So that's one brick, but obviously I need a few. So I'm going to hit Control D, and I'm going to move that over. I'm going to drag select them both, hit Control D again, drag them over, select all four of them, hit Control D, and move that over, and select the whole row. Control D and move that over and now I'm going to select all the bricks hit W actually it's already selected and put them somewhat in the middle of the grid now normally I would set up lighting and texture and all that stuff but because we're not going to render out the full animation I'm just going to show you the animation in this view but if you want to animate it, you have to set up lights and textures and all that. All right. So now we need to uh, select or create an object that will um, uh, hit the bricks. So I'm going to get a sphere in my polygons menu. I'm going to drag that out on the grid. I'm going to pull that up and I'm going to position it correctly so it will hit the bricks. So I'm going to go to my, uh, my separate views here. In my front view, I'm going to drag it over to the middle so it's in front of the bricks. And right here, I need to make sure that when it falls, it will actually contact the first brick correctly. Uh, like something like that. Okay. Alrighty. Back to my perspective view. So everything is positioned correctly. I'm going to pull this up a little bit more. Now I need to do a couple of things. First of all, we need to select the ground plane. And then we go to our dynamics menu. Actually, I did select that, but if you didn't, dynamics menu. Go to soft rigid bodies and create a passive rigid body for the floor. Okay. Now the dominoes and the, uh, and the sphere, they're active rigid bodies. So I'm going to select my dominoes. I'm going to select my sphere, shift select actually. I'm going to go up to soft rigid bodies, create active rigid body. And another thing I need to do because I want this ball to fall down, I want the bricks to fall down, is I need to add gravity to these objects. I already got them selected, so I'm going to go to fields and I'm going to select gravity. Now, one more thing we need to do is we need to make sure that in our animation uh, timeline we have enough frames for the uh, animation to play out. So, let's say 200, that would be fine. We're going to position it to have a good view of the animation. And if I didn't forget anything, this should work. Alright, so let's hit play. As you can see, the ball is bouncing, it's falling off the grid, and the bricks are falling as well. Hey, where'd that come from? Uh, 
it's from my uh, test animation no worries all right so uh, that's a simple way to do an animation i hope you uh, enjoyed it and uh, until we meet again thank you